Hi everyone, welcome back. Dr. Drew Ramsey here. If this is your first video, good to see you. Let's talk about nutritional psychiatry. How do we define nutritional psychiatry? It's a really new field in mental health and it merges the, all the ideas about mental health all the way from you know, neuroplasticity to psychotherapy and, and, and personalized medicine uh, with nutrition. And all of the new science coming out about nutrition that informs how we think about food at its essence, nutritional psychiatry is about taking care of your neurons and your mental health by looking at a lot of new science that's just come out. Now, let's talk about the definition. I get asked this all the time as one of the leaders in nutritional psychiatry, and this is my definition right here. To me, nutritional psychiatry is the use of nutrition, and by that I mean food, to optimize brain health and to treat and prevent mental health disorders. That's what the evidence suggests we can do with food. And I encourage you to look at some of the other videos that we have up about nutritional psychiatry, like the core principles. And that really helps explain why nutritional psychiatry is unique. There are lots of reasons that I utilize nutritional psychiatry in my practice and that I found it to be a really interesting and unique intervention. First of all, it's delicious. Uh, secondly, it's something that, that patients can do, people can do in their everyday lives. Uh, thirdly, I really love how nutritional psychiatry, for those of us who are in mental health, allows us to be in a more preventative stance. In fact, you could argue things like exercise and proper nutrition are two of the most powerful public mental health interventions that we have. Uh, another thing that's great about nutritional psychiatry is there's increasing evidence. Ten years ago, when I was talking about the importance of food and mental health, there were just correlational studies. Today, there are multiple randomized trials showing that nutritional support and uh, counseling added on to treatment as usual just gets more people better. And along with that data, it's also clear to me that nutrition and lifestyle interventions are something that combine really well with our other interventions in mental health. We don't have to worry about medication interactions. Food is something that we're all already doing. So let's do it in a way that supports our mental health. I hope that helps you think about nutritional psychiatry, a little bit about how to define it and how it should be used. The hope is that by making better choices in our everyday life, we optimize our brain health. By optimizing our brain health, we're really taking care of the foundation of our mental health. And then in the data, hopefully, and this is increasingly what we see, we can prevent mental health disorders by improving nutrition. While that might sound like a big claim, there's increasing research, specifically in freshmen in college, that shifting dietary patterns can significantly prevent depression. Large studies looking at all of, uh, all of the research together say uh, going to a traditional diet can maybe decrease the risk of depression by about 18% in a population. So as I said, increasingly there's data about this that helps us really think about both prevention and treatment of mental health disorders and how nutrition and food advice can be used responsibly. I'm Dr. Drew Ramsey. Thanks so much for watching. There are lots of resources that we have on our website, how to do brain food on a budget, how you can start this out with some new simple swaps. So please check those out. Those are all free downloads. And thank you so much for your time and watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.